Welcome. In this video, I attempt Chapter 2 of the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth board game. Okay, for Chapter 2 from the app, we'll go in to load our previous game. Click Resume. Continue the Thieves' Lair, Chapter 2. You have slipped beyond the ruined walls of the old fort. You have an opportunity to break their foothold, but their number is too great to completely overcome. You will need to locate and defeat the leader. The next adventure will be on the battle map. So instead of setting up the uh, tiles we did in the last scenario, this will be on the other map tiles. So we will continue. So Aragorn and Gimli both have four XP. We can check on their items. Okay. Continue. We'll keep the same roles and embark on our next campaign. So the living salads hangs within the old stone walls, apart from the sounds of night. And the crackle of small fires. There is no sign of defenders. Place battle maps as indicated. As you draw closer, the smell of too many people living too long in the wild surrounds you. Closing in single flickering light, you enter an inner courtyard. Place heroes as indicated. Each hero scouts three. So to the battle map. Collector two heroes and place them on the board and each hero will scout three so for Aragorn ancient wisdom lead the charge and the gift of men so on this one we can discard this card to discard some fear helping during our attacks but it also has a success I believe I'm going to put this on top of my deck for a success. Prep this one. And put this on the bottom. And then for Gimli. It's three cards. All have the fate icon. One helps with spirit, wit, and might. So we will go ahead and prep for might and place these on the bottom of our deck. Then back to the app. Continue. Place the following terrain two bushes. So back to our map. We'll see what they do in a little bit. Placing three walls. And a fire pit and a boulder. The shadows surrounding you step menacing forms. Torch in hand, an orc shouts a warning. We have guests. Defend the courtyard. And by orc, they mean a ruffian. Two goblin scouts. Rusted old porticolis rattles close, be, close behind your assailants, but beyond it you see others gathering their arms and courage. 
You can jam the mechanism. It would slow down what reinforcements may come. Place a threat token. On the other side of the ruin, a rude shelter has been erected, the largest structure you have seen. The canvas door has been painted with a strange sigil, a twisting, jagged shape that is both foreign and familiar. Lower increased by two, place the search token as indicated. As your foes spring forward, you grit your teeth. These orcs from Mount Graham and the armament of the thieves is beyond what you expected. Greater threat is at work here. You must find answers, and quickly, for you have but moments before the might of this company is awakened and brought to bear against you. Objective, find the leader of the orcs and thieves. Action phase. Well, looks like we're in trouble already. Um, we will have Aragorn go first. And we will use his Will Provision card. At the start of your turn, you may discard the skill for you and a nearby hero to scout two. So for Aragorn. We are going to put this card prepped. And put this success on the top of our deck. And since Gimli is nearby, he will scout two from that also. We will definitely prep this and put this weakness on the bottom of our deck. So that was useful. And for movement, Aragorn will move and attack. So, for a might check, three cards. Only one success. Um, which is only going to get us two hits with the sword. So there's the sword. One success, two hits. Two successes gets us five hits. We don't have any inspiration. So we will go ahead and use this to strike three to add three more hits. So we will be doing four hits. So in the app, applying four hits. And one Goblin Scout is down. But the other one will swing back. Goblin sweeps its spear in wide arcs and attempt to disarm you. Test our might. You suffer a wound, discard one prepared card. So our might is three. We just need one success here to defend the one wound. And there's our success. So we can confirm we're not taking damage. And since we don't take damage or wounds, we don't do the other effect. So that was his turn. And he's doing pretty good. In Lord of the Rings fashion, we will split the party. We'll have Gimli move two. And make an attack on the ruffian, who is a huge ruffian with eight hit points or health. So Gimli will get four for this attack. And only one success. And nothing else to help with that. And he's swinging with a battle axe. So one success will get him two hits and sunder. And of course two successes would give him six hits. And also because of his special ability, we will put one of those cards used for the attack back on top of the deck. So back in the app. 
put in our two wounds and apply. Confirm. And definitely can attack back. Ruffian brandishes a jagged knife. The blade, although rusted in places, looks very sharp. Spirit, Gimli's best ability is what negates. So we would like two successes and we know there's one on top. So we have our two successes to defend both wounds. So in the app, we'll confirm. And that ends the heroes. So in the shadow phase, shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by five. So one more threat. Something bad's going to happen for us. So the rally phase. Reset our decks and scout two. And so you remember with Aragorn's ability, when heroes scout during the rally phase, you and nearby heroes each reveal one additional card. Um, Gimli is two spaces away, so that's just going to affect Aragorn. Do a little bit of shuffling. Get our three cards. So this will help with an attack, which we kind of need. So we will prep that card, and both of these we will put on the bottom of the deck. And then for Gimli, do a little shuffling for him. Two cards, nice success, but uh, we're going to take the free attack with some additional damage to prep. And since we don't have any inspiration to help us with the fate icons, we will put this on the bottom. And back to the app. Click continue. And in the action phase. The one thing I didn't do previously was hopefully we can click on this and learn what they do. So after you end your turn in a space containing a bush, you may test your wit. If you pass, become hidden. For the boulder, while in a space with a boulder, if you test to negate wounds or fear, you may convert one lore to a success. And for our fire pit, well, in a space containing a fire pit, if you attack, you may discard a card with a fate from their test to apply pierce or smite. So that come in handy. Hopefully I can remember this in the rest of the game. Space is separated by a wall or neither adjacent to nor nearby each other. So let's go back and Discuss what hidden does. Hidden, if you are attacked before you test, prevent all damage and discard the spoon. When you attack, you may discard the spoon to add a success. So it's a boon condition we can get. Okay, on this turn, we will start with Gimli using his Restless Axe ability. At the start of the turn, we're basically going to get a free attack that will do two additional hits. So, four cards for his Might check. So we've got two successes, which will get us six hits from our Battle Axe, plus another two for the Restless Axe, and because of his ability, we will put this back on top of our deck. 
Total of eight hits. Which will take this ruffian down. We'll remove the ruffian and gain an inspiration. So then, his first real action, we use a move. So that's his movement, and we'll have him interact with this token. Back to the app. Particleus is caked with rust, but seems to be functional. We will sabotage. Finding the chain that raises the porticlus, you attempt to unbalance the weights and break it. Test his wit, which is two. That's not going to go well for him. Nothing to boost that. Fortunately, we got two successes. Chain snap, shrieking and clattering as the mechanism shatters. Threat decreases by six. Discard the threat token. Good job, Gimli. And he still has one move left. So we will come in here with the fire pit. And then back to Aragorn. He'll do an attack. On the Goblin Scout, getting three cards, two successes, so that will be five hits, which will be more than enough to take care of the Goblin Scout. Remove the Goblin Scout and gain an inspiration. Now I guess we will head towards the search token, movement of two, and in their action phase. Into the shadow phase. Shadow deepens. Threat increases by four. Rally phase. Each hero resets and scouts two. So we will do that. Now they are both, well Gimli is nearby so he'll also benefit from this. There's a success, we'll put that on top. And we will prep time of need. Putting the other card on the bottom of the deck. And then for Gimli. Shuffle properly, get his three cards. Oops. So, I like him being ready to attack, so we will prep this card. Put the success on top, and this on the bottom of the deck. And then we'll have Aragorn move two, and interact with that token. A lean-to displays a strange symbol painted on its front. Your foes position themselves to defend the structure. Their leader is surely within. Sneak forward or taunt the leader out. Well, since it's Aragorn, he'll sneak forward. Gimli would have chosen the other way. 
Take care to avoid placing your feet in a treacherous rubble. You pad forward. Testing agility. That's terrible ability for both my guys. So air going. Testing. Two successes. Best we could hope for there. You reach the shelter on silent feet. After a little searching, you find a weak part of the structure and give it a kick. You hear a muffled shout as the whole thing collapses and an enormous scared orc slashes his way out of the wreckage. Discard the search token, then place one orc marauder as indicated. This is Golgatar, the orc leader. All right. So now we've got an orc marauder. Here we go. The scared orc bears a large tattoo on his blubberous arm. The strange, same strange sigil you saw painted on the tent. The symbol is an amalgamation of orc superiority and something foreign or perhaps very old, like a twisted script of Westernese inscribed by an evil hand. Regardless, reverence of all those around him mark this all around him. Mark this orc as their leader. And if defeated, surely your foes will flee. Lore increases by one. Final objective. Defeat Golgatar. So how bad could this be? So he's just an orc champion with two armor. So Aragorn has moved and used an action to search. So he is done. Unfortunately, this has to be done at the start of the turn for him to get his free attack. So we will move and then just spin this card to get the additional two hits. And so for his attack, four cards. One success, one fate. We will spend an inspiration on that. So basically we have two successes, which will give us six hits plus the two from the battle axe. So we've got a total of eight hits and we will prep this card on top of our deck. So back to the app. Put our eight hits on. Close. Can the enemy attack? Yes, he can. The Orc Lieutenant knows much of battle tactics and combat. To your dismay. Wit negates. Ouch. All right, so Gimli's wit is two. So one success. And we will use his you cannot pass ability. So guard allows you to be used on any hero, yourself or someone else. So he will negate four of the six. So we will go ahead and take one of each. So the wound coming in or damage. Keep this card face up. When you scout during the rally phase, you cannot place cards back on top of your deck. He's exhausted. Well, he took a big hit. And then for fear. Rage, keep this card face up. You cannot prevent damage. When you attack, add two hits. Well, that's going to help finish this thing off. But he's got some problems with cards. So he's moved in attack. That will end the hero's action phase. Shadow phase. 
threat increases by four. That's not going to go well. Bandit Archer on a high wall loses a, loses a shaft with practice precision as more enemies scramble into the courtyard. Aragorn suffers two damage. Agility negates. Once again, one of his worst abilities. So he will negate. Well, we'll go ahead and spend an inspiration to give one success. He will negate one of those. Let me double check one of his abilities. All right, so if this was face down, he would be able to prevent that, but they are not. So he has picked up weariness. Flip this card face down. Goblin Scout on the board, hiding in the bush. Two more Goblin Scouts. And the Rally Phase. Resets their deck and Scouts too. They are definitely nearby, so they will be able to scout three. So our three cards for air going. So we've got something that helps during might, wisdom, and agility. Well, we just want to kill this orc, so we will prep the Might card and put both these on the bottom. So for Gimli, shuffle his deck up. And of course, because he's exhausted, we won't be able to put cards on the top of the deck. But with his Rage, we can add two more hits. So we've got a success. We'll prep this so he doesn't take more damage, hopefully, or he can protect someone. And these two have to go on the bottom of his deck. So back to our action phase. Someone's going to be hitting this orc. Just who has Gimli's doing additional hits. And he has Undying Might, so this will be a Might test. So we'll have Gimli make the first blow with four cards. Getting three successes. And if needed, we can put one of these back on top. So three successes. So with his battle axe, that's going to be a total of eight hits plus the sunder ability plus the two hits he gets for being under raid. So we're doing ten damage. Some overkill, but you shouldn't have made the dwarf angry. Remove Golgator, you or a nearby hero, gains an inspiration. So he's out of the way. Gimli did the work, so we will give Gimli the inspiration. So he falls to his hands and knees, gasping for air and spitting dark, vicious blood. You step forward to subdue him, but something in the orc's carriage gives you a moment's warning. In a flash, he lashes out and attempts to sweep your legs from beneath you with his own. The hero who defeated Gogotar tests his agility. Well, Gimli, that's not going to go well for you. Because of his ring mail, his agility is a one. So one success. So back on the app. Before you even strike the ground, he grains his feet and brings his massive fist down onto your chest. 
impact of your fall and a strike of his hand land at the same moment. You suffer three face down damage. Place Golgotero in the space with the hero who tested. Continue your assault. All right. Well, that was short lived. He's back. We have three face down wounds coming in to. Well, it seems like a good time to. What we'll do is ready defense and defend two of those. So he'll just take one face down wound. He's got a total of three wounds on him. And his limit is six before things get dire. Let's see how bad he is now. Three armor. That's not good. All right, so that was Gimli's first attack. So for his second attack, we'll see if he can get lucky again. Four cards, zero successes. So we will use that inspiration to give him one. And we're not putting any of the, those on top of the deck, so that will be Between his Rage and Battle Axe, four hits and Sunder. And yes, he can hit back. Wits in the gate. Two, he will negate nothing. And that is going to take him to a point where he doesn't want to be. So let's play this out. First wound. He becomes feeble. Suffer face down fear. Then flip this card face down. So that's one there. He will take a fear face down. Just keeping these down here so I don't lose count. Second wound or damage. Knocked prone. Deplete one of your items and discard a prepared card, then discard this card. Well, that's new to, not too bad. We don't have anything to deplete. As far as discarding a prep card, we'll get rid of the wisdom. And then we discard this. So there's a chance if we get some more of those. This is his fourth damage, so his fifth damage. Flip this card face down. So that is five wounds. And number six, flip it face down. So since he has met his threshold, We need to go back to the app. Poor Gimli. Perform a last stand with Gimli. Confirm. Is this damage or fear? Right now it's damage. You muster your last ounce of strength. Test. Or might. So we need to shuffle. Shuffling good. So we had two cards. We need two more. We just need one success here. That's not promising. Uh-oh. He's in trouble. So he fails that test. You have fallen. Remove your figure, figure from the map. At the start of the next shadow phase, you will fail this adventure. Gimli is down. So we were done with that. 
So I guess that will automatically make it Aragorn's turn. No pressure, bud. But uh, he needs to do some damage here. Let's see if he's got any cards that's going to help him. Help him. We have lead the charge. He can use the start two ability. Let me give him two. So let's go ahead and just do his might check. So three cards. One success. Which is not going to go well. So we will use his Undying Might to give him another success. So that's two successes. And for his sword, that will give us five hits. Plus another two for this card. So we'll be doing seven damage. Which is not going to be enough. So close. And he will get attacked back. Taunt you in between brutal blows from his blade. Wit. So Aragorn has a wit of three. Three cards. One success. This will hurt. He doesn't have any cards that's going to help him. So we will just make that, we'll negate one of the damage. So the first damage coming his way from this, flip one damage, and fear face up. No, well, he's only got one damage on him to flip face up, which says flip it back down. So we can live with that. Then we discard this card. So that wasn't too bad. So his second damage becomes dazed. Keep this card face up. Before you interact with the threat token, you must spend an inspiration. So that's not really going to affect us, I hope. Then his third one, he's weariness again. Flip it face down. Then he also has one fear to take. So, Hysteria, you and each nearby hero suffer a wound, then discard this card. So that's just going to be him, so we discard this card and pick up another wound. Gain a weakness and shuffle it into your deck, then discard this card. That's good, because he is looking at three wounds back there. So we're gaining a weakness. We put that weakness in his discard pile. And if he had inspiration, he would have to discard that. And for Aragorn's second action, he's going to attack again. And hopefully live through it. And fourthly, one success which is not going to do anything. Because of the armor. So that gives him two hits. Ah, one away. Nothing to, I can do. Confirm. Can the enemy attack? Yep, this is probably going to be it. Knows much battle tactics and command to your dismay. Wit three. We will shuffle the discard pile. Zero successes. So 
So one wound coming through. Discard all of your inspiration, then discard this card. Well, that's fortunate because that means he won't die from that. And then we have three fear on the way. First one, flip a face up wound, then flip this card face down. So we've got two here. I believe they're the same, but everything should be randomized. So we flip one up and it says flip it back down. So the second fear, you've been overcome. Suffer one face down fear. And then flip this card face down. So face down fear, sorry, fear coming. And then our final fear from the attack. If you're in a space with darkness, suffer fear. We are not. So we are sitting at four fear and three wounds. So close to death. So we will confirm there. Our turns are over. Sun rises, and in the gray light of dawn, your strength finally gives out. Push forward to finish your task, but the defenses of your foe remain unbroken. More defenders slip down from the walls around you. You have run out of time. The great orc lieutenant, Golgatar, jeers necessitously at you as you make your hasty escape and barely avoid being surrounded and captured. You set up a camp a short distance away, hoping to remain out of the bandic sight while keeping them within your own. You spend the night resting and recovering. And the following morning, you realize that your foes have slipped away in the darkness. You pack quickly and locate the trail, intent to not lose your quarry again. The heroes have let Golgator and his band escape. They will need to follow close behind to have a chance at stopping the dark plot afoot. Lore increases by one. Each hero receives three experience. And that finishes chapter two. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please click on the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.